Hi guys, Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. It's uh, Monday morning and I haven't made my video yet. And you can see the mess, so I sorted out my buttons as best I could. I'm not a big uh, connoisseur of buttons, but uh, I know what a tombag is. I'm sure there's a few old ones in here. Like, you know, these ones. These are two parts. Two part buttons. I don't know if this big one's a button though. Seems pretty heavy. Got some nice one. Got some macaroons. I only found one button this year. This is a nice one. Two, two part button or two piece button. This is our modern stuff, plastic. This is the only button I found this year. I cleaned it last night. I didn't even know there were holes in there like that. Looks pretty good. It's a two part button. Of course, one, well, that's why I don't like cleaning buttons. Piece fell off, but it was all rusted anyway, so. Looks really old. Eh? So these are my <coughs> tombacks. I uh, I dug these my first four years. I didn't dug one last year, as I said. This is the only one I dug. This here might be my oldest find. Let's see. There's a crown on top. There's two markings on both sides. That's the back. The front has some silver gilding or what you might call it on the outside. That's more royal sappers and miners. I suggest you do some research on it. It's pretty interesting. It goes really close to the Revolutionary Wars. This is the I think I've seen on the computer these buttons on the red jackets, like the movie Patriot with Mel Gibson. And there's a few tombacks there. This one's pretty thick for a tomback. It's got the shank squished. These are nice. This one's got a little bit of gilding on it. Shank in the back. These I just found in my, with those buttons. They're pretty old too. This one, I don't know, that's not a thumb back, but it's, it was a button. So yeah, I remember two years ago or three years ago digging this one and this piece does match it's one of the broken pieces anyway maybe not that one but you know what I mean this I thought might have been a part of a dandy button there but seems too light so yeah this is my old buttons well, let's put this one in here that's pretty old <clears throat> this one's definitely my favorite. Royal Sappers and Miners Militia Group near 1780 or 72. This I looked it up. Goes to Birmingham. <coughs> so this might be late 1600. <coughs> So yeah, that's it for the button show, short and sweet. Oh yeah, my mother likes to ask me about the change she gets. And she told me she had a different loony. I said, no worries, loonies aren't worth that much. And they 
of like 15 or 20 different kinds but I've never seen this one before that's because it was released this last year so they keep coming out with new loonies but I decided I'll start collecting the different ones since they're worth a buck each please nothing uh, too cheap in the binder but it looks good eh? Centennial 1969 to 2019 looks good sorry about the sniffles I don't know what I got this morning I don't get a cold and it's in pretty good shape hasn't been circulated too much so I'll put that in the binder so okay that's it that's it for the button show. Uh, I've been getting subscribers left and right, doing really good. I'm at 550, I think, this morning. So I'd like to thank you all, and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So this is it. I'll let you go, and I'll get ready for work. That means taking a nap for me, anyway. I work night shift, so. So I'll let you go. I'm watching uh, Nicola White Mudlarking. I like watching her videos. Nice and relaxing. So okay guys, have a great week and I'll see you next weekend. Bye for now.